Hi everyone, Stephanie here from the Insight Studio and you are watching HubSauce, our YouTube channel on how to help you get the most out of your HubSpot account so you can grow your company. Today what I want to talk to you about is using CTAs in your marketing emails instead of using buttons. So this is new that you can do this, but it's really important to having really good data on people because what's true is you can't create workflows or um, triggers based on people clicking on buttons in your emails, but you can based on people clicking on CTAs overall. So let's dive into an email and use CTAs in place of buttons. We are gonna start by doing an email. So marketing emails, and I'm just gonna click create an email, regular, since it's an example, and let's, let's do this one, just cause it's fun. Okay, so when you're in here, you can now um, see this. So we can see our button right here, right? And it's great. Um, we, we, we don't dislike it, but this button usually goes to a URL. Um, and, in, and a problem I often get back in here from people is, I wanna track like exactly who clicked on this button in this email and stuff. And it's like, you kind of can, but it can be a little bit tricky and a little hard. So now what I'm always recommending you do instead is coming into, you click on the button and then here, I want you to change it to a CTA and then you go and choose your call to action. So I'm going to create a new one. Um, I forgot. I don't even remember what that button said. I wanted to make it the same. So reserve my spot. Okay. So I'm going to go create new. I'm going to type in reserve my spot. Um, I might make it, you know, one of my company's colors that's in favorites. Um, next. And then I'm going to link to whatever the URL is that you wanted to use in this case. And you might even open a different page, link it to campaign, whatever you want. Um, remember to um, label it really well so that you know what the CTA is. So I'm guessing it's more than reserve my spot. This email is for something specific, I'm guessing. So I'm gonna make sure I call it and something specific. Um, instead of a webinar, let's pretend like we're going to um, drinks at the dram shop. Great, save. So now I can insert that and see how it changes from the button that was there to a CTA. This is amazing because now we can do things that trigger other actions based on them clicking on this. Whereas with a button, we really couldn't do a whole lot of data mining with that. Whereas the CTA, you can. So that is how you change your buttons to CTAs. A big question I always get people forgetting how to do it. So let me go over this part is they'll get here and be like, oh, Steph, you said you can do a CTA. I clicked on it. You can't do it. Um, the, the key is you always have to remember you first click button and then you go link to and then you go up to CTA to change it over. And then you can click on it, do it again and insert it. So start with button, then change it to CTA. And there you have it using CTAs in your marketing emails instead of buttons so that you can trigger other things based on their behavior. All right, everyone, so now you know how to change your buttons in your marketing emails to CTAs. Um, go ahead and do that. I would go back in your automated emails and change them to CTAs as often as you can because like I said, no, understanding the data is really important and that's really the magic of HubSpot, I think, at least to me, is having all of that data, being able to make really good decisions based on it, and, um, and also it protects the customer in that you aren't gonna bombard them with inappropriate things that they don't wanna get in their inbox or whatnot based on their behavior. So I'm Stephanie, I'm from the Insight Studio. You're watching HubSess, our YouTube channel on how you can get the most out of HubSpot so that you can grow your company. 
At the Insight Studio, we are HubSpot administrators, meaning that we are really dang good at HubSpot and we help HubSpot work well for you and your company. If you need help with HubSpot, need a HubSpot audit, you can visit us at theinsightstudio.com. I'll see you next time. Bye.